All right, guys, we're back here again. Ben from Dobinson's, Nick from Pick Motorsport, and we're back at the King of the Strip for the third year now. Uh, stacked field this year, over 85 entrants. Uh, we're going to have a quick walk around the pits, have a look at some of these rigs. Um, some incredible workmanship and some great displays of uh, performance on, on show here. Hoggy, what do you reckon is going to be some of the, the standout rigs today, mate? Man, it's a hard one. Their field is stacked, so I really don't know. But um, taking a shot in the dark, I'm probably going to say Dwayne or Jeffro. I hear there's a bit of a, a bet going on in the back door, so we'll just see how it goes and, yeah, enjoy the night. It's going to be fun. Sounds good. All right, let's have a look at some of these rigs. Right, Ace, we've got uh, Ali's Barrett GU here, Mad Toy. So he's just recently got this thing tuned, new setup, new turbo, um, and he's cracking the 800 rear-wheel horsepower. So... Been trying to get here the last few years and hasn't made it. No, absolutely keen to see how this thing runs. Look at that size of that turbo. So we're just here with Johnny Shorty. Um, mate, what gearbox you got in it? Uh, I got a 4L80 um, manualized valve body and yeah, I've yep. built it myself as well. So hopefully yeah. it holds together. This car's been around for quite some time. So John's a bit of an OG. Um, six litre, 42, GT42. Yeah, so. yeah, it's stroked out. So it's 6.8 litres and GT42, yeah. Should boogie, mate. We're keen to see it. So yeah, yeah. So we got Sam's GQ Shorty, uh, 5.2 liter Nitto Stroker TB48, uh, Garrett, big turbo hanging off the side of it. Not sure if it's the same cab, cab as last week, um, but yeah, <laughs> Sam's going to send it either way. So right, uh, here we are again. The winding wagon's back all the way from WA. Jeff, right here was your trip over, mate? Any misadventures? Mm, not going to lie, mate. There was a, there was a couple, but we got here, so. Right, hey, mate. So you're back. You got a, the V8, the LS with the supercharger, but you've got a different setup this year. Give us a bit of a, a rundown on the new setup. Who's looked after you, mate? So we have a Harrop uh, H2650i uh, on it, which is an upgrade from the LSA 1900. Um, yeah, same motor, slightly different cam. Put on the rollers, and we're making about two to three hundred more than last year. So, and two to three hundred more, mate. What is that number, roughly? If we crack 10, we'll be stoked, man, but the lower it gets, because we've got some stiff competition, we might have to be down in that 10-5 zone, we'll see. Let's hope, mate. Now, um, set up's been immaculate. How'd it go on the way over? Like, this is obviously not just a drag car, this is your, your touring rig as well. You've been a few days of Fraser. How'd the new Harrop go? How was the, the reliability, mate? Awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. River crossings, dirt roads, mud running, all sorts of shenanigans. Everything sweet. No belt slip. Stoked. Well, Lovely. All right, mate. Well, uh, we'll have a quick look under the bottom here and then uh, we'll see you out there.
The one who angered runs straight, 12, 7, 2, 4, it's 79, Dwayne, 8, 12, 8, 98, 112. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The action is a big unload there for the uh, Barrett Limo. And over the ocean drive lane, a Rex Gorry, a 5.7 litre cruiser. Generally the cruiser of Rexy, Tony Smith, the 3-8 over the action. 8-4-1-6 for Trev. And Rex runs rates 12, 9-3-5-106. And Trev, 8-50, 3-7-7 at 90 mile an hour. Yeah, Trev, Trev, the reaction for the cruiser, 8-6-7-8 for the Washington Eagles. with the owner of Cutler's Diesel Performance, Brendan. He has bought this Colorado Rodeo, RC, yeah. RC Colorado, uh, another full JJ1 by the looks. Man, this thing is insane. Give us a rundown on the engine. Um, pretty much everything you can do to a 4J before you go build a block. Yep. It's been a work in progress for probably three years. We're still sorting out teething issues. Yep. And what sort of turbo setup you got? What sort of engine works under it? Yeah, well, again, pretty much everything you can think of engine-wise, apart from a bit of block. Um, yeah, compounds, um, big, big one and a fairly big, small one. Um, well, lovely, mate. And um, what sort of power does this thing make? Made 775 at the hubs when it was first set up. Um, we haven't really lent on it since because we've had a few dramas, so. Very good, mate. And um, any expectations on quarter mile time? You sort of think of the day, the track's a little bit slippery out there? I don't know. I had two passes last night, not full, full passes, but if I get in the nines, I'll be happy. If I drive it on the trail, I'll be happy. <laughs> right over here with Andre. He's got this GQ Ute, which is a hell of a bit of gear, mate. Give us a rundown on the engine and the, the setup in this thing. Oh, mate. Um, stock bottom end, LS1, with ported heads and big fucking cam. <laughs> Good stuff, man. And uh, what sort of power is this thing making? We pulled uh, 280 yesterday on the 37s, so just naturally, naturally aspirated. Very good, mate. And um, what sort of gearbox you got behind the LS? Uh, at the moment, we're just running the five-speed manual. Just, um, yeah, banging gears. Very good. All right, mate. All the best out there today. It's a uh, tight looking rig. Right, eh? we're here with uh, an off-road racing legend, uh, the Chapman family, who've been around forever. Uh, we've all seen them at Cruiser Park and all the, the local off-road meets. So, so give me a call a couple of months ago. I wanted to bring up uh, the Pajero and the Triton for a run. So, Rob, give us a bit of a run down the Triton. What engine's in it, mate? Uh, it's got a, um, a 4B11 in it, like an Evo 10, uh, the 2.2 crank, uh, running 28 pounder boost, making, I don't know, 450 horsepower on 35s. So it's okay. Very good, mate. I've seen a few videos of this thing off-road. Um, and what sort of gearbox are you running behind that motor? It's got a six-speed sequential Modena. Made in Melbourne by, by uh, Modern Engineering. Yeah, very cool little thing. Very nice. Well, this thing is an outstanding bit of gear. You guys built it basically all yourselves, as I understand? Yep. Yeah, we started off with a... Well, Mitsubishi gave us a car with a thousand Ks on it, and we went and destroyed it. So, and turned into what we got now. You know, we started off with Mitsubishi, you know, diffs and all that sort of stuff. But now it's got 10 and a half inch four diffs in it, and it's got, you know, Atlas transfer, all the bits and pieces. So, very good. All right, mate. Lovely. Well, it's a credit to you. It's an absolutely uh, incredible build, uh, very unique and keen eyes to see this thing down the street, mate. 
Best of luck. Yeah, done. Thanks, Eve. Eh? Thanks, All right. Uh, legends in the four-wheel drive drag race and scene, and probably some inspiration for me to put this event on. Uh, we're here with the guys from GSL. Mate, uh, what are you brought up here today? Oh, mate, we um, we brung Frank. Frank's coming up solid like he always does. So, yeah, he'll definitely put a show on, which will be good. For, for the punters who don't really, who have seen this thing down the strip, seen the incredible vids of it, just give us a real quick rundown on the engine, what you've actually done to this cruiser mode and the turbos and yeah. that sort of setup. Um, basically, uh, it's still running stock crank, everything like that. We've got uh, aftermarket rods and... Uh, no bill of block. There's no bill of block in it. There's been rumours going around. Uh, she's, um, yeah, so just, just rods. Uh, we do a little bit to the pistons, but everything else is pretty much stock. We did fire ring it, obviously, but um, there wasn't a reason for it. It was just the motor was apart, so... Yeah, yeah. Right, and you got two monstrous turbos on there, mate. What, what turbos have you got on? Oh, we just changed them. That's an 80 into a 104, isn't 80 it? 80 and then, yeah, 107. 107, yeah. So. Insane, mate. And what sort, of, what sort of box is behind this to handle this sort of power uh, and put it down? 400, um, but it's pretty much, yeah, custom from yeah, yeah, yeah. top to bottom. She runs 42 pound and uh, punches out about 13.50 at the rear, so. So, in the moment, we are marshalling you down after the screen then we'll put you in the starting right position. Get ready in there. You've got to get your thing on first. So a nice hard launch runs through a four. An 8.58 with a 9 at 160 mile an hour. An 8.58 with a 9. I'm going to get this to launch. So a little bit bouncing uh, down off the line. You're up to a 9 4 with a cell. Sorry, a 10 67 with a 3, 123. Nathan's uh, turning in the uh, 4th AJ Collie. You're up to a 9 back and 8-5. You're up to a quarter mile, 8-13, 2 9 6 at 
And Ashley runs for 814 and 827 and 94. Six leader, Dixon. The Omar's driven by Dan Jones, the 763 reaction from Ailey. By the sound of that, I don't think he quite got that fly on it properly. And Ailey, the Omar's driven by Dan Jones, the 763 patrol. Right, here's 7 reaction for the uh, Y62 and 759 for the mid -team. The Mitsu takes a win at 15.0543 at 89. Chuck up the ball and got it. So I definitely don't know if that's a half feet of body. A 5.9 reaction runs to a 9.81 and a half track. And he runs to a 13, 84, 1 at 105. Right, I we're here with Nick. He's got his surf, mate. Uh, what have you been up to last night? Um, we changed the diff last night, so it was a bit of a run, and then got here at like 2 a.m. in the morning. So we're on, but we'll see how it goes. Very good, mate. Well, I really appreciate you giving it a full detail before you come up. Yeah. Uh, give us a rundown on this wild-looking setup. What is it? Uh, so it's a 1KD uh, A340, and then it's a T25 and a T04Z. That nuts, man. And what sort of gearbox is behind it? An A340, so it'll be dead by the end of the night. <laughs> Lovely. And what sort of power does this thing make? Um, I haven't dynoed it yet, but it went to 13.4 at 108 mile an hour, so it's got to be like mid 400s. Wow, that is extremely impressive. Um, and yeah, it's, this is something very different, which is what we love to see here. So all the best out there today, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, we're here with Benji from Benji Built. So he's driven up from Brizzy, come and have a look at the event. This is your first time here? First time. First time. Mm -hmm. so, and what combo are you running now? Because you previously had a Barra GU um, and yep. you've changed it over now. So what are you? I've uh, got the LBZ Duramax with the Alice on. Any times are you hoping for or? I don't really have any hopes, but um, just see what it runs and see how we go. Yeah, key man, it's looking a very tidy. So Thank you. yeah, you've done well. It's a tidy tourer. Okay, we've got another female entrant this year, which is fantastic to see. We've got Jamie with the 75 Series Cruiser. What engine we got in it, Jamie? HZJ with a little aftermarket 60 mil turbo. Very nice, and you got the big Fats Fab box and snorkel on there. Anything else done to it? Uh, not really, I think that's the newest one we did recently. No worries, and have you raced before? Yeah, I raced last year. Very good, and what sort of times are you gonna hope for this year? I'd like to crack 18.9. Lovely, all right, that sounds good. Good luck and see you out there. Thank you. And we've got another Barra GU here, uh, Josh's, and another immaculate job. It's super tidy. Uh, I've got a Pulsar G35 900. Um, just replaced a few parts this morning, slave cylinder, and some control arms and stuff after a few runs last night. But this is immaculate under the engine bay. Uh, should be another good race. And the uh, GU kettle for the uh, 413 wagon. I just don't. The turbo NP runs to a 10.96 to half track. The uh, TD, a 12.61. So, Mickey takes the win at 17.06.3 and 79.0 now. Dan, a 9.871 at 68.0 now. But an 8.69 reaction to the other lane. A 6.9 across the ocean tide lane. The Audubon Lane, we 
we have a rush race roll for a 287 and Steph Marshall, a 17065 for the D-Max. The Freebeater uh, Volkswagen Amarok, sponsored by Chris Anderson. And then on the reaction from Reed. And a straight straight seven reaction from Cam. Looks like we might have a bit of issues there for Cam Horton. That thing is definitely capable of much more than that. Four and a half with a DMW and Jumbo Sprocks and a 79 Cruiser. That is a 4J game in that car. Bombing definitely working. That's 384 reaction for Josh. 421 to 79 bucks. And the Collie runs straight 15, 407, 90 mile an hour. The 79 series will get there eventually. And he runs straight 20 points, 468, 67. The 1042 is just stood up a little bit there for uh, Jack. But it looks like the uh, 70 series uh, might just take the win. Oh my kid, that's still a 7 series. The patrol takes a win at 18.904 at 77. And it was a great puck off in the uh, four inch, four point seven meter hay bus with a four by six reactor. And I don't know much information on the uh, driver of the ocean tires lane. But he runs through half track at 11, 5, 8, 6, and 60. Victory in the 79 11 7 and a half. Matty Walker 11 2. Matty Walker takes you into the range. He's 17 at 692 at 75. And only has a time lane. Brady Lester in the green again. The state is going to go out of the game. I'm going to say he's winning. Look at the suit on that working leader for Toyota Sir. Robin Cole. Look at that suit on that working leader for Toyota Sir. Robin Cole. And he runs away 14, 2, 5, 0 at 83 mile an hour. And he's going to be able to get a little bit of a reaction. Diamond in the patrol with a 1.086. And he has 7, 3, 2 reaction from Nathan, a 6, 7, 4 reaction from Campbell.
And I'm having troubles catching the old D66. A 15675 at 90 for Ross Morris in the cruiser. And the Jet with a 4 the Right, here we are with the RC Colorado of uh, Nathan's. Mate, this thing is incredible. What is this? What engine's in it? Give us a rundown. Uh, it's the stock 4JJ1 that came out factory in this car. Uh, it's been stroked out to 3.1. It's got uh, crank, pistons, rod, compound turbo, obviously, as you can see, twin wastegates, nitrous, uh, turbo 400 box in it. Uh, it's now two wheel drive converted from four wheel drive. Uh, it's all caged, Haltech dash, all the, the good trick bits, and now we get to see if it's going to work. Mate, this thing is incredible and, and the quality of build is impressive. Who, who's done all this work for you, mate? Um, so the majority of the work was carried out at GNL. Um, Reese and Ben have been a, a godsend with this vehicle. Um, obviously, Ben with his tuning and uh, the it's got a Gazard Brothers rear end in it. Um, Elite Exhaust and Fabrication did the hot side, so he mounted all the turbos, the exhaust, the intercooler. Um, what else have we got in there? Uh, all the cage inside. Um, was done by Fab Lab, uh, and I think that's about the list. The rest of the little tricky bits I've sort of fiddled around with myself. Uh, my brother from uh, 4JJ1 Bling Bits has helped me out with all of the all of the green and the goodies, and as you see, it is yeah. what we came up with. Lovely, mate. Well, I can see that Bling Bits it is absolutely incredible. Um, what sort of power is this thing putting down? At the moment, we're not 100% sure. It's still only got a little converter in it. It's the first time we've had it out here. Um, today, I think we'll probably sit it somewhere around 600 and depending what it does, we might throw some nitrous at it and see if we can get it to come alive. Any expectations for a time down the strip, buddy? Oh, look, for the first time out for the car with zero seat time in it, I'd like to see a low 10 out of it, ideally, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Right, mate, thanks for your time. See you out there. No worries, mate, thank you. you. Right, eh, so here we are, Harley Wallace from Wildtech. Um, Local Fabi uh, does some incredible work. So this is his personal car, his GU Ute. Uh, I guess a bit of a rundown on your rig wall. Yep, uh, so it's a built atomic motor, um, 75 mil turbo. It's on E85 at the moment. Um, pretty held back on injector size, so there's not much power at the moment, but yeah. Uh, manual, five speed manual, yeah. Right, and the uh, barra itself, have you done any work to that? Is it standard, is it built, is it? Yeah, yeah, so it's a full atomic. Full build motor, yeah. Yep. And what sort of ECU you're using to manage that, mate? Yeah, so it's Elite 2500 with all the accessories, um, all fuel inputs, oil inputs, uh, all that sort of, sort of safety gear. So, lovely, mate. Plenty of Helltex floating around the uh, paddock here today. So, all the best out there, buddy. Thanks, mate. Right, Ace, so we got Michael Paulson's another Barra GU here. Um, they're everywhere at the moment, and this is a, a stellar build, absolutely immaculate. Um, he's got a new Garrett on there, G35 900. Um, he run the Rocky Nuts and run a pretty good time, so keen to see how this thing goes. Uh, I reckon it'll go pretty good.
And it does because a breakout by Zach of 14.84 on a 15 flat. And John Armstrong with a 609 reaction to Hayley Dean for the 796. And Josh in their six leader GU takes a win, a 15 209 on a 15 flat.
Nick with a 538 reaction. Can he chase down the uh, L? No, he can't. Nick Hogg with the LS, a 13069 on a 13 0 with a 538. But Dwayne Deans, an 11098 on a 10 5 at 122.